Hello, my name is Julie Cronshaw and I'm a ballet teacher. I'd like to introduce you to Maestro Enrico Cicchetti, whose training propelled classical ballet into the 20th century and which I believe will revolutionise the ballet training of the future. Born in a dressing room in a Roman theatre in 1850, Cicchetti danced with his parents and trained in both the choreodrama and French classical ballet traditions. In 1864, the Cicchetti family moved to Florence, where Enrico and his sister Pia finished their training under the great Giovanni Lepri, who was himself a student of Carlo Blasis. Cicchetti danced as a famous virtuoso throughout Europe, eventually settling in St. Petersburg, where he danced at the Mariinsky under Marius Petipa. It was during this time that he formulated his exercises according to the days of the week, which became his celebrated method of teaching classical ballet. Cicchetti became Pavlova's personal coach for three years. In 1909, he joined Diaghilev's Ballet Russe as company ballet master and mime. He toured with them extensively until 1918. Then he settled in London with his wife and opened his ballet school. In 1921, Cicchetti's ailing health forced him to retire to Italy, but he soon continued teaching again. He worked with the Ballet Russe and also at La Scala Milan, where he taught until his death in 1928. Cicchetti was teacher to many of the trailblazing dance names of the 20th century. Dancers, dance makers and artistic directors of ballet companies such as Pavlova, Nijinsky, Kasavina, Lopukova, Markova, Dolin, Prebrzhenskaya, Spesitseva, Kiasht, Idzikovsky, Massin, Lifar, Nemchinova, Igorova, Celi, Krask, Danilova, Dame Marie Rombert, and Dame Ninette de Valois. These names, as well as many others, won Cicchetti the crown of the greatest teacher of his age. In Cicchetti's method, every step has a function. No step is merely decorative or superfluous. If you look closely at the days of the week, you will see that each day is divided into a particular step with its own movement quality. Over the course of each class on each of the six days of the week, Cicchetti wanted to make sure that no step was omitted and left nothing to chance on the part of the teacher. By training in this way, Cicchetti's dancers gradually perfected their technique eliminated their physical weaknesses and refined their artistic interpretations. Not many people realise that in training, every ballet movement should have a purpose as well as a function. The aim of this film is to explore that purpose through some of Cicchetti's remarkable enchaînements and to explain the underlying physical principles behind them. First of all, what are physical principles? These principles correspond to physical reality and natural law. They are universal and human. They teach control without controlling and regenerate a dancer's body, not devour it. On each day of the week, in Cicchetti's method, there is a physical principle that reveals itself through the assiduous practice of the steps according to that day's class. So let's begin with Monday, les assemblées. This is about the principle of aplomb, or standing on the axis. Tuesday steps are les jetés battements. This is about the principle of épaulement, or using the oppositions to create dynamic. Wednesday is about les rangs de jambes. This is turnout, amplification of movement away from the centre and back to the centre. On Thursday we get to les jetés. We're moving into the space. This is about transference of weight. On Friday steps include la batterie and point work using the Italian school spalzo, which is a little spring onto point. It enables the dancer to stay on point longer and in beats to maintain elevation and hover in the air. Saturday is all about les grands fouettes sautés. This is the principle of ballon, changing shapes in the air and using dynamics, momentum and speed to explore all the spatial planes. As a Cicchetti trained dancer proceeds through each day of the week, all the exercises, difficult and taxing though they first appear, actually work. And if the dancer can achieve a coordination throughout the body which is fundamental to the method, they may well produce dancing that Fokine said appeals not merely to the eye but also to the emotions and the imagination. 
They will dance naturally, without the strain and artificiality that has in recent years tended to obscure the intrinsic power and beauty of pure classical ballet. So let's explore the genius of Maestro Enrico Cicchetti through the physical principles behind the days of the week. <laughs>